Welcome to Candidly Unapologetic with Therapist Jen. This is your 15 minutes of candid discussion about mental health that will invite you to question traditional treatment practices and will always leave you with a holistic nugget to better your own mental health. Welcome to the show, everybody. Today's episode, we are going to talk about something that is very uncomfortable for most people, which is the idea that other people are judging us and that we give a shit about that. So I titled the episode today, I Think You Think I Should Shut Up Now, because we are going to focus a lot on what other people's judgments do to us and uh, really truly how it dictates our actions. Um, recently, my mom shared a story with me that 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 just is the epitome of the title of this episode, right, um, when it comes to judgments. So my mom was a very young, young mother. Um, you know, she was uh, late teens, you know, just finishing high school when she found out that she was pregnant with me. And she tells this story of my Nana, um, who was dating at the time and just very recently was telling me a little bit, you know, Jennifer, when I was pregnant with you, I distinctively have this memory of your grandmother being so worried that people that were dating her were going to judge her because she had a, a pregnant daughter out of, you know, out of wedlock. Uh, and so my grandmother, my Nana must have been having a, a date come pick her up at the house. And she, she says to my mother, okay, now Karen, you just go and you go in the other room until mom leaves. I cannot let him see you in this condition. What a shaming practice. Oh my goodness. So here's my mom, this pregnant woman, right? Having to go hide in a bedroom while my grandmother was having a date over because, you know, God forbid he judged her, right? Um, for, for her having a daughter, a teen daughter that was pregnant. Okay, so I think about this and I think about the idea of how our actions and what we do are so often influenced by other people and our worries that that they're they're judging us. And so the question that I want you guys to ponder today is does the opinion of others influence your actions? And if the answer to that is yes in any way shape or form, how far away are you getting from from who the hell you truly are then? If your, your decisions and your actions are, are, are not your own and they're the influence of somebody else. All right. So let's, let's talk a little bit about this idea. Okay. And you know, the, 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 the question of how do you really know who you truly are and what you really stand for if your decisions are based on what other people think of you and truly not what you want. Okay. So for myself, um, I, I think this is a topic that I, I, I can talk about fairly easy. And I think the reason that I can is because somewhere along the way, I just stopped caring so much about that. Um, and I can't pinpoint where this happened. I, I, I don't, I, I can't resonate with a very specific stage in my life where I went, you know what? I don't care anymore. Um, it definitely was sometime after high school, even though I had this front of this person that was really, truly this, this, this badass who had a mouth on her, who didn't give two shits about anything, who was going to say what she thought. I did still care about what other people thought. I did still care about this idea of perfectionism, right? Um, because I had to have the clothes, have the shoes, you know, be in, try to be in with the popular group, even though I wasn't, and I knew that. I uh, struggled with an eating disorder for a while. Um, why? Because I cared about what I looked like. I didn't care about who I was, but other people's opinion of me, right? I wanted to look a certain way. So, I, you know, I think it came sometime after that, um, and sometime in college when it really just started to resonate with me and I was able to overcome this barrier that it was more important for me to show up and just be real in who I am versus being liked and accepted. I used to have this saying that I would say all the time, like, I have plenty of friends. I don't need more. And really, 
I, I didn't have a ton of friends. I mean, just a very few close people, which is still, still to this day, I just have a handful of, of people that I'm pretty close with. Um, but that's it. The rest of, rest of the people could just, um, they all have a role. Uh, and the ones that have more of a role in my life are the ones that can accept who I truly am. Um, the, the gen that's outspoken, the gen that's vulnerable, uh, the gen that is going to just sometimes say it how it is, and then the gen that sometimes knows when to show up for other people. Um, that's Those are the people that are the closest to me and that I spend the most of my time with, are the people that can accept that. Um, I realized some point in college that I didn't need people to like me for me to grow and for me to be able to, to move ahead in life. And so I, I want you to think a little bit about that for yourself, right? Uh, think about the idea that usually in our worlds, we, we do things that's kind of like opposite of the way you would think doing it would work, right? Like we want more, we want friendships, we want status, I mean, shit. I was I was ready to move up and be a and be a deputy warden someday. A warden. I wanted to take over, you know, overseeing prisons and 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 be in this role and in this status and all that came with this, right? More money. And when I looked at that now, and when I look back at that, I go, this is this is this is backwards. I spent so much time of my life even earlier on in my life, trying to have more, more things, more money, um, feeling like that's what happiness is. And really, the way it works is not that way. And the way it works is being who I am, doing what I really want to do, and then being my true self. Then I get what I want. I mean, that's really how it works. Um, And so we often do this so backwards in our lives. And so for me, I think somewhere along the way, I realized how important it is to be real versus to succumb to other people's judgments. So what happens when we are influenced by other people? Well, one of the things that happens is we just lose who we truly are, right? The idea of staying real kind of fades away and we become this facade of anxiety in in depression um uh, Brene Brown would bring in some shame work when it comes to this, right? When when you trade in who you are, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have anxiety, depression. There's going to be eating disorders. There's going to there's going to be blame. All these things that happen. Um, that's what's that's what she talks about when we trade in who we are. So I think a little bit about her work when I'm talking about this idea of other people's opinions influencing our actions, right? Um, so the idea of fitting in and people pleasing, when we do this, we get farther and farther away from what we truly, truly want. I had something recently happen to me with a very close friend of mine, um, that, that, um, I would say struggles a little bit with this concept. Uh, and I am often the one that says things like it is, brings it like it is, uh, always been that way. Um, this person was more of the rule follower. Uh, we, we initially were not close friends because we were very opposite in that way. And I was the rebel and it drove her crazy. And she was the rule follower and cared about what other people thought. And it drove me crazy. I was with her not too long ago. And there was a lot of concern on her end, understandably, um, by an action that I had done. Um, and it was just me being me, right? Just being my authentic self. Um, and I watched the anxiety happen, the concern and the worry um, because others were judging. And what would they say? What would they think? And I can appreciate where my friend is coming from because of the world that she's in. And, um, you know, there's, there's lots of... Uh, fun corporate BS that that goes into things that I don't have to deal with anymore. And so I watched her fold and I, I watched the anxiety monster just come and overcome and her get quiet 
And I sat there and went, oh my goodness, my action without me realizing it, it hurt you a little bit because you're so engulfed and worried about what other people think and them judging you that you quieted yourself, which is why I titled this episode, I think you think I should shut up now because right there, she fell a succumb to the shame, right? And the anxiety that happens and she was quiet. And here I come in going, I don't give, I don't care. I'm just being me. And I feel great. And she feels anxious. And so in our world, you know, this happens a lot. And and I can appreciate where this comes from, from people. I did this, I did this too. It's not as though I am sitting here as the host on the under, other end of this going, Oh, yeah, other people's opinions don't influence me at all. Of course they do in different ways. I'm not pure in this at all. But what I have found is that working farther toward not letting self-doubt and shame dictate what I do, I can get closer to staying real and just feeling good about myself, okay? And so how, how, do, how do we do this? How can you do this? What small steps maybe can you take to be more true to yourself, Okay, so the nugget that we talk about in today's episode is what does it mean to be true to yourself? Are you sacrificing who you truly are, your beliefs, your values, your opinions, because someone's judging you? How small do you feel when it happens? I watched a great friend of mine shrink. It was almost as if I could physically see her just shrink into herself because of worry about other people's judgments, because of an action that I did that is not even truly tied to her at all, but she brought it in and tied it to her. And so I watched her shrink and that is so hard. And I wish, you know, I wish I could give, I wish I could pull her into my side and go, it's okay because their judgments They matter to you in the moment. They really don't because they're taking away your true self because you don't want to feel this way. So what, what does it mean to be true to yourself? This is what I want you guys to think about. And so how do we, how do we do this? How can we take small steps? So the first thing that I think about is whenever I'm in a space where I might feel vulnerable with where I am at, where I'm at. I might feel vulnerable in, in my in, in my actions. I get very true and very deliberate in what I'm doing. So 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 what does that mean? I ask myself what what's my worth? What do I want? Who am I in this situation? Because what I usually want equates to not shrinking. It equates to me being honest. It doesn't mean that I have to be an ass to someone. But it also means that I don't give up what it is that I really want in the moment. And so I ask myself about that. And I ask myself, what do I truly need? And I I I just keep saying to myself, how do I become very authentic in this space? Right? Oftentimes it leads me to go, no, you know what? I'm gonna say it different. No, you know what? I'm worth more than that. I'm going to ask for for something different. You know, I'm going to tell somebody that they hurt me and that it's it's not right and that it's not okay. So I, I get real with myself and I stand up for what I believe in. And usually it's when I'm feeling vulnerable. So what you got to really truly do, everyone, is you got to know the emotions that you're feeling and what it's doing to you. And then you take that emotion and instead of shrinking, you grow with it. And so I want you to think about the barriers that are there for you of being true to who you are and if you're sacrificing who you are. And so when you feel vulnerable, you get straight up deliberate with your actions. And what does that look like for you? Because someone's judgments are dictating and influencing who you are and how how you can feel really great on your about yourself right so i want you to take that dose that nugget of information and that dose of candid empowered energy and i want you to go and make things happen